Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of I am Penj and welcome to Railed, which is a very interesting little game indeed. It's a train themed puzzler where we have to lay down train tracks between four destinations and optional gold mines. Yes, the gold mines are optional and apparently there's gold in them that are hills, so we want to connect those up as well within a certain number of turns and the more connections we make between the destinations and the gold mines, the more money we receive. It's very interesting. Apparently it's based on a pencil and paper game called 30 Rails. I can't say I've ever heard of it, but if you have, apologies in advance for the mistakes that I am going to make because I don't know the paper game and I've had a little go at this. I've had one go just to kind of get the idea of how it works. It's on Steam now. It released on Steam today. There is a link to the Steam store page in the video description below if you are interested. And we got a key for this from the developers, which is very kind. Thank you very much, developer folks. So let's just get on with this. Shall we? Let's just play some Railed and see what it's all about. And here we are. So this bit in the middle is our game board, if you like. So these white tiles are going to be where we can place down train tracks. And the train tracks are going to be in all different configurations. Like in the example up here, there's going to be ones that are going to be curved. There's going to be straight ones. There's going to be ones with sort of multiple rails in going in and out of different sides and all that kind of stuff. So we've got to make sure that we put the right bits down in the right place in order to get lots of lovely connections and make all the lovely gold, which is splendid. We have ourselves some mountain tiles. These are mountain tiles. We can't build on those. We have to go around those. They're just blockers. They are obstacles that we have to work around. It looks like as well we're in the Wild West because they're cactuses. I like the idea of that, running the trains through the Wild West looking for gold, looking for gold in the mines. That's brilliant. I like that idea. Um, we do have 50 million gold and it's not in dollars, which kind of just reinforces the point that maybe we are out in the Wild West looking for gold in mines. So 50 million gold we've got with a new goal of 100 million gold. So we want to double our money and we have ourselves a number of challenges down here. So we have some active challenges and we can pick one of these. So we can have a challenge that pays out 50 million gold if we use 20 or more track tiles on any completed railway. That seems quite difficult. So we're going to build tracks up and that wants us to use 20 or more track tiles on any complete railway. That seems quite difficult. Complete at least two railways between stations, pays out 20 million. Connect all four stations to the gold mines, pays out 40 million gold. Now I think Two railways between stations is a bit too simple. That seems quite difficult. Let's see if we can connect all four stations to the gold mine in some way, in one way or another. I think we can do that. I think we can get all four stations connected. So let's pick that. So that would give us 40 million if we complete this goal. I think we can still complete the game, if you like, without completing this. We just won't get the payoff. So if we manage to connect the stations up, but we don't get all four of them connected to the gold mines and the game finishes, we'll still get the money from connecting everything else up. We just won't get this nice payoff just here. But obviously that's quite a chunky piece of money there. So we do want to get that. So let's pick that. And now the game is starting properly. So there's a little counter in the corner. We can ignore this. So we've got to pick to put down our gold mine. So we've got to try and connect things to this to get a great big payoff. The gold mines have to go next to a mountain tile. I think let's put it in the middle. Let's just put it right there. So the gold mine has gone down and it's got three connections coming in. So obviously we can't connect from there. And now we have four stations. The little pictures on them is sort of irrelevant. They're just sort of markers. Just makes it look a little bit interesting. So that looks like a city. That looks like a warehouse. That's a factory and that's some sort of dock. So now we get to pick these and they go around the edge onto these sort of coloured areas around the sides. Uh, now, I obviously can't go onto this one or this one or this one because there's mountains next to them and we'd never be able to get in or out the station. That would be ill-advised. So where should we put our first station? I think let's put our first station up in that top corner, perhaps. So that's now going to come out this way. Let's pick that station. And I think it makes sense for, to, for me, anyway, to have a station on... I know you have to have a station on each side. Look, it's now not letting us have a station on that side. So you have to put a station on each side. Oh, okay, well, there you go then. I was going to say, it makes sense to have one on each side, but it makes you do it anyway. Marvellous. Um, let's put you down here onto that sort of brown colour. The factory one can go on possibly... Ooh, grey? Maybe grey. And then the boat can go on that green. That might make sense. We'll put the boat on the green one. And then we have a bonus tile. So if any of our railways run through this bonus tile, it pays out a little bit more money. I think let's put the bonus tile just here. It can go anywhere. Let's put it here because it's quite likely that we're going to be able to come through here 
and get lots of connections to the gold mine. So let's just put the bonus tile just there. And now the little train carriages move along and this is how the game works. So we have to press this big red button down here. I love a big red button. So let's press the big red button and we'll stop the train carriage and a little tile will pop out. Here we go. So we've got a grey carriage. So this is where a little bit of sort of a uh, little bit of consideration comes in. So we've got a grey tile. It can only be played in the grey grid lines, if you like. So there's a grey thing here and here, a grey sort of outer border, if you like, and a grey here and here. So we can't place that tile here because it's not within the grey sort of grid lines, if you like. So we can pick it up and use it, or we could spend some of our money on swapping it for a curved piece, just a directly straight piece, or a mystery piece. For now, I think that's pretty good. We can pick that up, we can put that right there. We can plop that right there right now. We don't need to rotate it round. It's fine where it is. And then, yeah, that can just lead up here, hopefully, and go into the gold mine just there. And possibly even, because it's got a bit branching out there, try and link up to this just here, which would make sense. And that is how the game works. So let's just press another one and see what happens. So what are we going to get this time? It looks like we're going to get a white. So it's going to be the pale, the pale one there. And that is a big crossover bit. Now, that is unfortunate that it's landed in there because that's all on the edge, which is a bit of a shame. However, ah, however, if we put that there, that could be quite useful because it's going straight on from the boat toward the mine. And also it could connect this up as well. It could connect that one up as well. OK, yeah, I'm happy with that. That's marvellous. Right. So we'll go this way. So, yeah, it doesn't connect. It goes underneath, but that'll still possibly be useful. Uh, and now we've got, aha, now it's green. So what we could do is we could immediately connect this boat uh, boat station up to the gold mine, which would be wonderful. So let's put that in there and then let's rotate it round so it's like that. So it's got that uppermost track coming from here. So we might then be able to connect this to either here if we want to, to bring it in to the gold mine, or we could connect it to here, depending on what random bits we get. OK, right. Right, this is all looking good. So there you go, we've connected to the gold mine. So we've been given a payoff of money. Because we've connected to the gold mine, this is connected. We've got ourselves some money, which is marvellous. Okay, now we've got another one of these. So it's again on the white sort of, uh, the white, I don't know what you call that, but yeah, the white sort of grid lines, if you like. So let's pick you. Let's put you, let's get that moving, actually. Let's get that just there and we'll rotate it round. So it's low. Oh no, that's no use, actually. That is, that's not as you, there. It'll have to go like that. It'll have to go like that. Now, you see, this is quite useful because it might, we might get a straight bit, in which case that comes down here. We'll have to try and work that out. Or we might get a curved bit, which might come round here. Might be able to connect up to just here. And then that connects this station to the gold mine, which is marvellous. So, okay, what bit are we going to get next? Let's have a look. It looks like it's going to be green again. Okay. Oh, and it's a slightly wibbly bit of track. Okay. Okay. Where can we put this that's not going to be terrible? We haven't got many spots for this. This is a spot which is going to be useless. This tile here is a wasted tile now because that's coming in from there. This is just completely blocked off. So if we ever have a naff tile, that's where we want to put it. This could be quite useful if we put it here. Now we can move things around. We can always lift it back up. I think that looks like a pretty good shout. And then we might be able to get this station plumbed in via that way or from up here. So yeah, that looks pretty good. I'll leave it there, I think. Okay, what colour are we going to get next? Green again. Oh, dearie me. Okay, well, we're going through all the greens, are we? Right, you are. Um, okay, let's have that one and let's put that there and rotate it round. So that might connect that up. Right, next one. Now, there are special things as well, I think. And you can't really see it now. There's one there. Green again. Oh, my goodness me. There's a um, uh, sort of a carriage. I don't know, a carriage, a trailer thing just behind here, which is full of gold. I think if you get one of those, you just get given some free gold. But I don't know how easy it is to get those. Right. What do we do with this? Because this does not look like the most useful of pieces just here. This looks pretty useless. Right, do you know what? We will just put that there. That can be our wasted tile piece. Whatever. That's never going to be of any use. Ah, finally, a different colour. A yellow. A <laughs> yellow grid. Hooray. Okay. Uh, nothing much up there to be done. How about we put that down here in the corner? Let's rotate it round so it's like that. 
So we might be able to connect those stations together if we get the right combination of tiles. Okay, what are we going for now? Um, oh, is that green? This oh no, it's a slight. Oh no, it's a slightly different green. It's a it's a a lighter green, a mintier green, perhaps. So we could take that. We could put that just there, and then hope that we get a curved tile, and that would come in and allow us to go down and connect up to the mine. I think that is probably the best use of that. We could put it there, but then that means the trains are going to come down and under this little bridge and then be lost down here. Let's put it just there. And I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Yeah, we need another bit to kind of come around here, which would be useful. Um, ah, right. Another kind of bridge looking arrangement. Um, it's, yeah, that's not going to be that helpful just here, is it? I was thinking, yeah, it's going to be useful just here, but I don't think it is. Where do we want to put this? Could we put it just there and then just see what happens with that? We might get a bit that branches off that way and into there. That might be useful. So it might go across that way and branch up to there as well. Let, let's wing it. Let's go for that and just see what happens, shall we? <laughs> let's just, just wing it. Oh, green again. Okay, we're going to run out of spaces for green tiles eventually at some point. Um, okay, I don't want to put it there. I think that might be useful. We might need that to draw stuff into here. So how about, hang on, if we put it there and rotate it round. Um, do you know what? That might not be that bad, actually. That could be vaguely useful. Do you know what? I'm happy with that. We'll keep that. Please give us a colour other than green. Stop it with the light greens. <laughs> There's too much green going on. Uh, ah, right. This is good. If we put that there and swivel that round, that connects this station up to the gold mine, which is marvellous. So yes, confirm that please. And it goes, yeah, you've connected to the gold mine. So it's given us some lovely money for connecting to the gold mine. There's some crazy stuff running around the edge. We've got two things connected. And now we have a gray connector. Okay, uh, how about, what if we put that in here? If we put that there, then that means that we can connect in either that way or this way. So yeah, either way, when we connect that, that yeah, I, I quite like that. I like that idea. So we've got ourselves two options now. So it's not ruling out any of these tiles on the outside. Another grey bit. Um, okay, let's take that. I don't want to swap it round, I don't think. Don't want to swap it round. How about we have that, that connect to there, but then, oh yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Yeah, that no, that's not actually that useful a piece. If I'm completely honest, that's not very useful. <laughs> Can we have a better piece, please? That's a bit, that's a little bit rubbish. We might put that there just to use it up. Let's pick it and we'll put it there and that'll have to do. So that train track isn't ever going to go anywhere. But this one down here still might loop around if we are fortunate. Okay, another grey. Is it another grey? No, it's another sort of light green colour. We're going to run out of options on some of the greens. Okay. A straight line piece. Um, it can only really go just there. This bit over here is... This is all wilderness over here. This is all kind of pointless wilderness. We don't really need to do much with this. Let's put that there. Marvellous. That just continues that line down there. Yeah, eventually, if we get something here and here and here, that could loop around to the gold mine and have another line. Okay. So now we've got a little crossroady bit up there. Um, okay. I don't know if that's going to be of any use to anybody. I know this is another, this is a slightly useless piece as well, isn't it? We can't, this whole bit in the corner is going to be a bit of a waste. This could be just where we chuck junk pieces because we can never get in there because that loops around here and that's blocked by mountains. And these two bits obviously point down toward the south, if you like, and that's a mountain. So this bit up here, we can never get to. So we could just fill this with just, just rubbishy tiles that we don't want and not have to pay for replacing them. Let's just do that. Yeah, you can go just there. Marvellous. Yay, so we've got kind of a dumping ground. Now, you get, I think you get more money for the longer, uh, the longer sort of uh, tracks you make between things. Oh my goodness me, it's a yellow. It's the second yellow we've seen. <laughs> wow, okay. Right, let's have that. Um, that is not as useful as it could be. That could lo loop up to there. So it would connect that, this grey tile, through to this brown tile. But that yellow tile would therefore go nowhere. So then we'd need the right tile from here 
to connect into here, to go up here. Yeah, that's that's not a brilliant tile either, to be honest. That's not that helpful. Uh, we'll take you. You can go into the you can go into the sort of the the train track graveyard up here. <laughs> the unwanted. Okay, that is a curved piece. Okay, let's put that just there. And if we get another curved piece and a straight piece, that will link that bit up. Okay, right. Next tile, please. What are we going for? A grey. Okay. Please be a straight. Please be a straight. Ah, ha, ha. Yes. Okay. Uh, I will take that and put it... Now, do we put it here in order to continue that coming down? Or do we put it here and connect this up? That would connect the grey station up to the gold mine which is brilliant for us. But then that does mean that we are reliant on a a straight... Pi no, 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 we can't do that. That will break this. So that means that this would never be able to be connected to the gold mine because that would just lead straight into this mountain. It's got no way of deviating because it's going over. So no, we can't put that there. That is unfortunate. How about we put that there and that continues that going downwards. So then if we get another curve tile just there, that could be really useful. Okay, right. Let's see. Let's see. Now, I'm probably doing this all sorts of wrong, but I quite like it as a sort of a puzzler idea. Ha ha. Okay. That could go here. If we swivel it round correctly, that now connects that up to the gold mine, which is good. Now, we don't have to get paid twice for that, but it's at least used it in a good way. And then if we manage to connect up these stations down here to the gold mine, I think that counts as a connection as well because we go through the mine, I think. So we want to make sure that those stations are nice and connected as well. I think that's how it works. I might be talking nonsense. I don't know. Uh, right. Let's see what we can do with you. Can we somehow connect? Can we put you into there? Uh, that forms a bit of a loop. But yeah, that's no good. Ah, that's a bit better. That's a little bit better. Now we might, yeah, it all relies on, we want this tile here, we want this brown colour in. We've not really seen many of those. There's one. Aha, well, there you go. Speak of the dead. No, it's gone past that. Oh, <laughs> no. Um, we have no choice for where that can go. We'll just put it there and make it loop back round. And that's it. We can't do anything with the, that sort of green sort of grid alignment anymore. Okay. Um, this is ultimately pointless. Let's just pop it in the corner. Can't do anything with it. Next, please. So now we've only got one, two, four, five, seven more tiles and we've finished. We have finished the thing. Um, again, can't do much with that. We seem to get a lot of the greens and stuff. Let's just make that into a straight line for the sake of it. Okay, anything else? Come on, give us something good. Great. Can you just give us a straight line? Give, or one that sort of peels off. Ah, marvellous. Okay, that goes into here. That connects that up to the gold mine. However, that is now reliant on some very, very fortunate pieces to connect up the brown sort of uh, station over here. But that will connect it up to the gold mine. Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Yay, right, okay, marvellous. So we've got a new goal. We've, well, we've got a new goal. We've met our goal, which is very good. Um, again, this bit now is completely pointless. So yes, okay. We need these to be good bits. And we could spend some money on getting those oh oh okay this is exciting this is an exciting new thing that i'm entirely unprepared for what's this we just get to put anything down oh oh that's quite nice then um right how is this going to work however how is this going to work so that is a silver piece by the look of it that gives us two million uh two million gold if we deploy it uh, and but we don't know what they are but they give us 5 million if we use it. Um, is it just if we put it down or if we use it as part of a track arrangement? Um, okay, I think it can go anywhere though. It can go anywhere. So really, we need a thing that loops to the to the left. I mean, that would be, that would be quite handy for this arrangement just here. I'm going to take that and we're going to put it there. And now that can loop round. So yeah, we just need a very, very fortunate thing just here. Oh, there you go, silver track, 2 million. Marvellous. Okay, well, that's quite nice. Right, this is white track up here. This is completely, utterly pointless. Oh, no. we need This bit here has got to be utterly... Right, it's this. It's this piece just here. And I think that will do the job quite nicely. Yes, please. Swivel it round a bit. Yes. Also, that's connected that station, I believe. Because we can get from there round to there, can't we? 
So that'll do quite nicely. And the challenge is complete. We have connected all four stations to the gold mine. And we've got a last one of these. Um, well, it's completely irrelevant. It's going to go into a pointless place. Let's put it there and go yay. So we've got a silver track and that's it. And that's it done. Look, there's a little man at the end waving his flag. <laughs> bye bye. The train is done. Whoever made these train tracks needs their head looking at. This is terrible. And we have leveled up. Oh, that's good. So we've leveled up. We are now a track inspector. Um, so what did we do? We got, ah, right. I've, I've failed to understand how this works. I've connected to the gold mines, but not connected the stations to each other. Can they not use the gold mine as a little interchange? <laughs> because, yeah, if we look... You can go from the boat straight into there, but the boat does not connect to that station, for example. That does not. That goes straight into the gold mine. That, yeah, that doesn't go in, does it either? No, that doesn't go in. If it came around that way, yeah. So none of the stations are actually connected, but they're very well connected to the gold mine, which is important because gold is shiny and that's good. So I think what we'll do is, because they're only short to play, let's have another go. Let's have another little go. So as you can see, the color palette also changes. There's loads and loads of different color palettes. This one is sort of fairly sort of muted, really. It's not the most sort of vibrant. There's some quite bright ones. There's ones that are all green and blue and reds and multicolors and grays and all that kind of stuff. And as you can see, we are, we're out near the sea, I think, because there's little palm trees near the mountains now. Okay, so we're back here. So 50 million, the new goal is 200 million. Okay, so our active challenge, complete at least four railways between the stations. I mean, we miserably failed last time. Five railways between stations or 10 or more track tiles on any completed railway. Let's go for four railways between stations because now we don't need to focus on the mine. We want to connect the stations. So let's go for that. Right, the gold mine is a useful bonus. So we'll just put that sort of in the middle. It's fairly central there. Right, stations. Um, let's have one up in that corner. Let's have one in the middle. Let's have that one in the middle. And let's have that one in the middle. Kind of putting them in the middle sounds like a useful thing. And then the bonus tile can go underneath the gold mine just there. Okay, let's give this another go. Oh yeah, look, there's kind of a big kind of shipping container, freight container thing just there. Uh, okay, right. Let's have another little go at this, shall we? Let's just see what we've got to do. And the thing is, all these look kind of similar. I need to wait for that thing to pop up. There we go, right. Yeah, they're quite similar colours there, aren't they? Um, let's put that one... Uh, where was Where is that going to be useful? Just here? If we put it like... No, that's no use at all. <laughs> that's, that's a terrible place for that to go. How about we put that there? And that could come down from here, possibly, and then up to there. I don't know. We'll swivel it round. Maybe like that. Maybe we'll go for that just there. Okay, right. Next tile, please. Next tile is going to be a... I can't really tell you what colours these are. A slightly less dark grey? I don't really know. <laughs> they all look the same. It's just, It looks like the same as what we had before, I think. Um, so if we pick that... Um, if we put that... That there, it's just going to loop straight back up and round, isn't it? If we put that there... It can go, oh no, no, that's terrible. No, don't put it there. What if we put it here and it could loop up towards there? Although that does mean, no, that's a terrible placement as well. That's also terrible. Let's tuck it into the corner. That might be handy. So that could use that to sort of loop up and round to the bottom station, the factory station, if you like. Um, okay, ah, right. It's going to be a paler looking carriage. So it's the sort of the second one. So where can we put this? It's going to be of any use. I, I wouldn't mind some more straighter parts. It's easier if we have straighter kind of bits, but okay, fine. It's making it tricky. Um, let's put... Oh, where do we put this one? Where do we put this? This is also possibly a little bit useless right now. We haven't got anything to connect things up with. Let's just put that there. Oh, no, no, hang on. No, let's put it in this corner. That's quite useful to sort of skirt around the edge of that mountain. So, okay, we'll have that one there, please. Right, what's next? A graffitied one. Can we get something nice after this? Right, a straight line. Hurrah, long last. Okay, where can we put this? I think we put that right there and swivel it around. So that bow could connect to it and then possibly go up into the gold mine if we get the right pieces. Okay, more graffitied ones. More graffitied ones. Um, okay, another corner piece. Uh, okay, it's a corner piece. Do you know what? It can go up in the corner. That's absolutely fine with me. We'll tuck that into the corner. That is lovely. So yeah, well now we can get round these mountains. There's some trickily placed mountains just there. 
Ah, right. This is useful. This is where things start branching off. So we could, if we put that onto the bonus tile and flip it round, yes. Look at that. So that can connect things into the gold mine. And it's a nice straight line over to there. Okay, yep, I'm happy with that. That'll do. And it's on the bonus tile. We get some bonus gold, which is quite nice. Uh, this is another grey tile. That's not perfect. That's not ideal at all. Um, I wouldn't mind a straight bit to go into there. But then can we connect that up like that? Maybe we could connect that and maybe bring that through here. I don't know. I don't know if that's the best placement of that or not. Do you know what? That'll have to do. It'll do. It'll go there and it is now it has now been nailed down. Okay, what's next? A kind of bridgey sort of bit, which in hindsight is a little bit useless. Right, it, may, it looks like it should best be placed just there because it connects to an existing bit of track. So it can go down, under, or it can go over if you're coming from that direction. That'll do. That will suffice just there. There's yeah, people going, no, what are you doing, man? You're doing it all wrong. Um, another one of these ones. Oh my goodness, we've only had two straight bits of track. It's, it's, oh no, I suppose that counts as a straight bit of track. Um, where can we put this that is not going to be completely terrible? Well, there might be quite useful. Well, that does render these one, two, three, four tiles completely useless. And we won't be able to connect that to there. Or can we? Could we connect things up? Do you know what? Yeah, let's leave those there. And then that means that we've got a little bit of a dumping ground here for some tiles as well. So we can chuck them in. Right. Can that go just there and be of any use? Yeah, that's quite useful. So that connects that up. So if we had a straight bit and a straight bit, we'd be okay. And I don't mind spending a little bit of money to get some of those straight bits in. Because that's why we start with the 50 million. Ha ha ha. Right. Okay. Oh, that's not quite as useful as I was hoping, if I'm completely honest. Um, okay, put it there. Swivel it round so it's like that. Or that it's going downwards. So maybe it's pointing down. Yeah, maybe. Maybe so that's pointing downwards. I think that's probably more useful because then we've got two possible ways to connect. Okay, yeah, that'll do. Right, next one coming up. Let's have a look. It's a sort of a grey looking one, but they're all a bit grey. <laughs> so I don't know how to describe it. Um, can we put that in there? Is that of any use? What if we do that? No, that doesn't mean that they're connected though, does it? Unless we somehow loop that. That could connect this station up here, in theory, to... I oh know, but it's not connected to up there, is it? That would need to loop round into... Oh, this is very complicated. <laughs> Do you know what? I don't know if that's the best place for that. I don't know if it is. Uh, what if we put it there to connect that up? Oh, that does leave that a bit rubbish, though. Oh no, where are we going to put this? Can we put it just there? Ah, yes, there. That's useful. That's useful. So it can get things into the gold mine. It can get things into the gold mine. The only thing is, we're not really after getting everything to the gold mine. I want to connect the stations. I want to connect the stations up. And the gold mine doesn't act as a sort of conduit. So if it goes into the gold mine, it can't go down to the station as well. Oh, what do I do with this slightly rubbish piece? What do I do with you? Um, yeah, not that either. Do you know what? I'm just going to put it anywhere. I'm going to put it here and just hope that that's a good place for it because it, it ruin, ruins all that stuff. So, do you know what? Let's just put it like that. For Oh, no, that's no use either, is it? Um, if I put it there, that means that this tile needs a straight bit to carry on. Otherwise, that station is completely lost forever. Um, right. I'm not entirely sure what to do now. I'm just going to put it there. I'm just going to put it there and go, there you go. That's it. It's kind of, it's a wasted tile. And that's probably a really awful thing to do, but it's done now. There we go. Right, let's grab it. No, not these ones. These are not what I want to see. These are not useful tiles. If we put it there, is that any use? Possibly if it has to come round here. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. We have got the dumping ground down here. We've got these four tiles that we can chuck stuff into if we want to. Aha, right. A straight bit. So we could put that just there. And that's at least going to go across like so. The only thing is that then can't do anything. That's going to come down and get stuck. What if we put it there? 
that can come down. You can come into the mine from here, or you can come down from here, from this top bit. Yeah, that's probably better. Right, give me another tile. Give me some good tiles, for goodness sake. Now I could do with one of those bendy tiles. Another one of those. Okay. Where do we want to put this? Um, we could. There's no use putting it there, because it goes straight. So that's just going to go straight off into the middle of nowhere. Uh, we could put it there. That's okay. So it comes down here. It goes under one bridge and under another bridge. So that's now bringing that a little bit closer to being connected. I have a terrible feeling that I'm not going to connect anything at all. <laughs> okay, well, we'll keep trying. Another one of those ones. Oh, my goodness me. Right, okay. What do we want to do with this one? Um, if we put it here, that's going to come straight down. And then that could connect. Yeah, so that means that only those two stations can be connected. It's going to rule out all the other connections, is it, possibly? Unless that one can connect in somehow. If we put it there, that's oh, that's possibly quite useful. Up there's a bit wasted. Just there is probably not very useful either. And just there is a wasted tile. But they're quite useful. Yeah, Joe, you know what? We'll leave it there. It's fine. We'll leave it just there. Uh, hopefully that'll all pan out nicely. What do you do if you get an open one there? Aha. Right. This could be useful. Oh, it would have been useful had I not put that there. Okay, <laughs> fine. Um, there's no point putting it there, or here or here. They're wasted. We could put it just there, and then hope that that connects up to there. But we're not going to be able to connect four stations if we leave that there. I think I might have blown my chance to get the bonus thingamabob. I, I think I think I've made an absolute hash of this, and it's 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 not good. It's not a good thing. We're not going to be able to connect everything up, and and you know what? We'll just we'll connect two of the stations, and hopefully that'll be fine. Unless we get some magic connecty bit in here, which might connect other things up. Yeah, that'll have to do. That will have to do. <laughs> oh dear, I suspect I've made a bit of a pig's ear of this, but we'll proceed anyway. We'll carry on. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, right, this is no use at all. This is a this is a terrible terrible tile that we've been dealt. If we put it there, it's it can't do anything. It's just going to not include the boat. If we put it here, it's probably going to bend round and exclude lots of other connections. And if we put it here, it's not ever going to connect this station. So we need to change that. We need to change this for ten million of our fifty million monies. I like the monies. I like the gold coins. Um, but, I mean, we could just get a straight piece that just goes there and just connects across there. Yeah, let's spend the money. Let's, let's swivel it around. There we go. So we've, we've kind of flipped that round. It cost us a bit of money, but at least it's a useful piece. Okay, what are we going to get next? It's a... Uh, oh, no, it's one that I did. I would have used on this tile. Ah, okay, this is going to be largely... In fact, this is entirely redundant because nothing around there can connect to here now. So this is all entirely pointless. So, okay, right, let's just do that and put it there. And nothing can ever come of this because nothing can connect down here ever. Oh, that's really annoying. That piece came afterwards. Um, okay. Can that be of any use? No, it can't go here. Oh, can we put it here? That might be quite useful. Um, the only thing is, yeah, what piece are we going to get here? that's going to allow the connections to all these bits. I don't think there is a bit that goes to the right, to the left, and straight. Up. There's not... Yeah, okay. But do you know what? That'll do. <laughs> it's fine. It'll all be fine. It'll all pan out just fine when people can't make their train journeys. Um, this is largely irrelevant, so we'll just put that up there and go yay. Next one, please. Okay, what's next? Can we not get one of the magic gold tiles, whatever it was? Um, oh, now we're starting getting the useful tiles, are we? Okay, fine. This is, again, largely useless, although it would have been quite handy to have before I'd put this one down. But never mind. Ah, <laughs> oh, that one was a very costly kind of mistake in hindsight. Oh, and another one of those useful pieces. Oh, marvellous. Let's just pop that in there, because I can't do anything with it anymore. Um, really, it's all down to this piece and this piece. Okay, again, not the most useful Let's just pop that in the corner and hope that it goes away. We need a good piece here and a good piece just here. Okay, what's that colour? That's... Oh, oh, well, that has to go just there. We have no option. 
Yeah, there you go. This is terrible. <laughs> I would not get a job as a, as a railway designer. Ah, right, here we go. We've got a marvellous one of these. So we could take that for... That will give us two million back, which is quite nice. Would it go quite well here? So it could peel off to there. Hang on. So if that was in here, that train, that train could come down here and then peel off that way. And then the train would be straight across here and then it would have a bit that comes down here. So that would connect that station and that station. But then in theory, that station could also come down this track, come round this loop and maybe connect to some other stations. So let's sit. Yeah, let's go for that. Let's go for that one. And we'll put that there and then we'll swivel it round so it's like that. So that has connected. We've connected some stations at long last. Look, they're connected. <laughs> Hooray, we've got some money for it. There you go. Look, so you can see now they are connected. Oh, oh, we've got another shiny one. Um, okay, what do we do with this, however? What on earth do we do with this? Um, that is just a straight on thing there so if we put that into here if we took that silver tile put it here we would have a connection going from there all the way round to here so it would connect boat and sort of town hall type thing that's quite nice it would also connect boat with factory yeah that makes perfect sense we've got to put that in haven't we and then this connection down here is just sort of dead so we'll do that so that connects. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, the money is rolling in. Oh, we are. We're so rich. <laughs> Do you know what? That sort of worked in the end. It's not so bad. It's not so bad. So that the only thing is that's only connected to one station. Oh, there you go. The little star appears. That's connected to one station. That's connected to two in the gold mine. That's connected to two. That's connected to one and the gold mine. OK. Um, OK, well, they, these bits are irrelevant now, aren't they? Yeah, whatever. I can't do anything with these bits. So the last bit's going to be pretty useless. And yeah, it's one of those bits. Bishy bashy bosh. Put it down. Man with the flag doing his little waving bit at the end there. Uh, and there's one in the corner. I didn't spot that. Do you know what? Marvellous. Now let's look at the man waving his flag. There's no more bits left, is there? And there is the last carriage. And there's the man with the flag waving. So yeah, we get a little bonus. because Do we get a bonus because it's going through here? Um, there you go. So uh, we've got three railways connected, which, yeah, wasn't wasn't the four, so we didn't get the bonus, I don't think. Was that what we were going for? Four connected? Um, two gold mines. We've got two bonuses going over the bonus tile. We've got no gold tracks, but two silver tracks. And do you know what? It, it was a bit of a pig's ear of an effort, but it looks all right now. <laughs> now we've got the, the shiny gold trails going across it. It looks great. And we have connected up quite a few things. But, um, I mean, yeah, it, it probably could have been done a little bit better. And this thing here was very unfortunate. If we'd have got a bit that had uh, the straight bit of track and then a bit that branched off to the side, like we did get afterwards, that would have been really useful because then we could then work that bit in up here somehow. Because, yeah, maybe we would have had a little bit more option to do some other stuff. I don't know. But whatever the case, that's where we are. So, um, yeah, our current high score, we're 28th in the world <laughs> with 195 million gold coins. The, the person at the top has got 847 million. <laughs> do you know what? I don't wear a hat, but if I did, I would take it off too, because that is quite remarkable. And there we go, just a quick little look at Railed. I think you got the idea with how it works from the two goes. We've had at it there. And you're probably thinking, oh my goodness me, you were useless there, Ben. <laughs> what were you thinking? But I think we did okay. I think we did okay. I mean, I might be entirely wrong. People who know either this game or the paper version better than me are probably looking at that going, no, you made a whole catalogue of errors. But in the first one, we got everything connected to the gold mine, which is what we were supposed to do. That was our goal. When we didn't get any of the stations connected, but we got them connected to the gold mine, which is important. And then the second one, we got some stations connected to each other. And also a few of them were connected to the mine which is quite good. So you know what? I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. I am quite happy with that. Despite the glaring errors that I have no doubt made, I think we did an okay job. And it's an interesting sort of game. I probably will come back to this. It's not recording it. I'll just play it in my own time because I quite like the challenge. I quite like the idea of it. You've got enough of it to be, you know, sort of random because you get those pieces, but you do have to plan a little bit. You have to try and plan as best you can and give yourself the most sort of open options until it starts getting down to, you know, the last few tiles 
stars where you are at the mercy of the random number generators and you just get what you're given. But yeah, I quite like it. It's very interesting indeed. If you are interested, as I said at the start of the video, there is a link in the video description to the Steam Store page if you want to go wishlist it and all that kind of stuff and follow it and buy it and what have you. So yes, please do so. But we shall wrap things up for now. Hopefully you did enjoy this, even if I was quite useless. If you did, then please do leave a like. That would be splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe in order to keep up to date with all the other stuff and gubbins and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. And I'm back in the lockup again. I can break out this time, though. Ha-ha! Don't have that, you buggers. This game is very hard, and it doesn't care that it kicks you in the face every now and then. Is there a difference between a gremlin and a goblin? I don't know. Maybe one's got a bigger chin and one's got bigger noses or ear size or something. I don't know. Whatever. These fellas.